Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video. Now in this video, I want to talk about Firebase. So what we'll be dealing up. We'll deal about what is Firebase, where it can be used and what you need to learn in order to master the Firebase. What are its close competition and how good actually the Firebase is. So let's get started here. In this channel, we talk about programming, web apps, mobile apps, and pretty much everything related to programming and technology. So in case you are new here, consider subscribing because we discuss a lot about these things. So let's move on and answer the question that we are having. But in order to answer that question, first we need to ask a proper question. So what is the question in here? Now, when you design apps like mobile apps like iOS or Android or maybe web application, the database is kind of a big problem and not because it's hard to design. Of course, it's a little bit tricky to design as well as sometimes it consumes a lot of bandwidth. Uh, trafficking between a database and your application front end is kind of a big issue. On top of that, the hostage is again a problem. Uh, imagine if your app is having uh, photo sharing things and you want to access all the photos there. So it's not easy to maintain all of these things. Now, on top of that, managing your own authentication system is also a tricky bit idea because everybody needs uh, authentication from Facebook, maybe Twitter, maybe Google, or even a simple login system is not easy to design from the scratch. Of course, it's possible, but it's not easy to design. Now what Firebase gives you, Firebase gives you a complete solution about how things can be taken down. Now it's a very good complete backend solution that you can put up there. Now with the Firebase you can do all sort of authentication, most common ones are by username, email and password. Uh, but you can uh, of course use uh, login with Twitter, login with Facebook, login with Google accounts and uh, GitHub and all the things that you can imagine which are most popular there. So apart from authentication, it also manages a very good problem of database. It gives you a real time database. And by real time, I literally mean real time. As soon as the user will click in and you have uh, written a code that the, data, the database entry should be done there, it does it in the real time. You can just see the things magically appear there and that is very, very awesome for debugging and rolling out uh, an increased level in your application. So uh, this is not about authentication and database, yet it does the job really neatly, nicely and awesomely, but it can do a lot of other things as well, like cloud messaging, app notification, your advertisement programs, and there are tons of things that you can see in the feature page there. But again, I would say I love Firebase. And in case you might have uh, attended some of my boot camps in iOS or maybe React, or any other as well, I always like to use Firebase. Another close competition of Facebook is Parse. Now, you might have seen that Parse was really, really growing. And in fact, uh, I was one of the close followers of the Parse. Parse really did a very good job, uh, but somehow Facebook decided that we are not going to uh, work on this project. And the team that was working on the Parse, we want to dedicate that team onto some different good things. I don't know what they come up with that good things. Uh, I think that was uh, uh, probably just for the fun purpose. Maybe that team designed uh, kind of a Snapchat clone inside uh, the WhatsApp, but again, uh, that was not all about it. Now, Parse is a very good competition for Firebase, but now things have changed. Now, it's not like Facebook has completely closed down the Parse. It has actually moved it onto the open source. And now in order to use uh, the Parse, you have to take your own Amazon Web Services, uh, AWS servers there and host your Parse on yourself and you have to maintain it on your own. The good part about the Parse is you get much more control there, but the good part about the Firebase is uh, you don't have to even look out for your database and manage bandwidths and everything. You don't have to do anything. So everything is being given to you. For the small scale apps, I think that Firebase takes an upper hand because for the small scale apps, like from 100 to 100,000 users, uh, it can manage flawlessly everything. And in case your app is having more than 100,000 users, you probably would have money to pay for the bigger plans as well. So this was a quick overview about the parts. Now, one more important question before I uh, go off from this video. What you need to learn uh, in order to master the Firebase? Now, you do not need to learn anything. Yep, I'm saying correct. You do not need to learn anything. If you are working in the Swift, you can use it in the Swift language as well. It has a complete API that works in the Swift. 
If you are an Android developer, you can use that in the Android. There is a specific guidelines for Android as well. In case you are working with JavaScript based, based application or web application, then you can use the entire Firebase in JavaScript as well. So again, you do not need to learn anything. Your existing language will work really great. It has API, you just have to call them, update the database, do authentication and all such funky stuff there. Okay. So this was all about a quick introduction of the Firebase and I highly recommend to go inside the training, some of the boot camps uh, that I have done there and I always use the Firebase. In case you have some other questions as well, I highly recommend to post them in the comment section below and I'll surely make a video for that. With this, I will say that uh, if you are enjoying this video in here, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you are new here, consider subscribing. And in case you think that this video can be helpful for somebody, make sure you share it and I'll surely catch you up in the next video.